everyone, welcome back to A Vintage Vanity and today's hair tutorial is this. It is a really great back to school bumper bang look and what I love about this, it is very easy, breezy and a little bit flirty. And we also use a new method for bumper bangs never before seen on a vintage vanity. Keep watching to find out how we did it. This look is going to be best done on at least day old hair and you're going to want to have some curl in it. Having curl in it will make it a little bit easier to form the shapes that we're looking for. Start things off, let's separate out our bangs. You're going to do that by going from the corner of your forehead to the other corner and you want to go in a U shape. Now this doesn't need to be absolutely perfect because a lot of this will be covered up, but you are going to want to make sure that you're getting an equal section of hair here in the front. You're going to take all that hair and you're going to brush it nice and smooth to the front. Then you're going to gather it right at the very front and you're going to take a very small clear elastic hair tie and you're going to tie it into a ponytail. And you should have something that looks fashionable like this. Now. I've done a couple of styles featuring bumper bangs before and I'll go ahead and place a link in the description below on those styles so you can see how you can do this a couple different ways. Because the way we're doing it right now, you're only going to want to do if you have something that's going to be covering up basically where you're tying this off. You're going to lift up the bangs and we're going to back comb right at the base of the hair. Take some hairspray and give it a spritz. Once that's dry, you're going to brush just the outside of it. You're barely going to brush it. You basically want it to look nice and smooth from the outside, but keeping all of that back combing on the bottom. The back combing is going to provide stability and help us shape the roll. To get rid of any flyaways, especially caused by the back combing, just take a little bit of pomade onto your hands and brush it over the hair. Let's get rolling. So I'm going to take it wrap it around and then just tuck the ends in. Then I'm bringing that to the base of my forehead here. Right where this finger is is where we're going to aim to pin so you get a little bit of hair from the hairline. Now before you pin you want to make sure that the position is in the middle of your forehead. Take your booby pin and place it right at the base. To make sure those pins don't move I'm going to place two and I'm going to cross them one from each side. Now we have our roll so now we can actually shape it. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab hold and you're just going to act like it's a slinky and you're going to pull it out. And you're aiming for it to come up in a U fashion. Now for me having it stabilized right here is what really allows me to get that really nice U shape. If I don't have a band here I end up getting more of a flat across bumper bang and it's more than okay if you want that look as well but I really wanted to have more of a U shape. So you're just gonna futz with that until you get the shape that you desire and of course take some hairspray and then while that's still wet take your hands and run it down. That will help with any flyaways as well. So I'm starting my back combing by taking thin sections of hair right behind the hair that we pulled forward for our bumper bang. And for this, I'm going to go about halfway down the length of the hair and back comb. We're going to go ahead and we're going to keep teasing this hair until we're about halfway through the amount of hair that we have. And then of course you want to spray that hair and let it dry. Now while that's drying we're going to pull up our sides so basically I'm just brushing the hair that's in, on top of the ear right up to the top and I'm bringing it right to the base of the hair that we pulled forward for the bumper bang. Then I'm simply going to pin and we're going to do the same thing for this side. And then after all that back combing you're just going to smooth through it with your comb so the outside of it looks nice and smooth. And essentially you want, when you push it up, when you kind of grab it and push it up, you want it to look nice and seamless in the front there. And then pull out the hand mirror. Make sure your puff looks good there. In the back. And on the other side. And right where I have it squeezed, right here, we're simply going to twist it once, twist it twice. 
kind of just makes it look a little bit neater. And then take your bobby pin and you're going to pin right into the twist going at, at an upward angle. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sides, just these small sections of the side here, bring it right to the point that we twisted and pin. Just gives it a little bit more of a polished look. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And then take all that hair and a hair tie. And you're just going to tie all that together at the base of the neck. And to kind of bridge this gap as well, I push it up. So you're going to flip the ponytail up. And right here at the top of the band, we're going to place in, you guessed it, bobby pins. I actually like to use the large stick pins, and especially if you have really, really thick hair, these are going to work even better. And then, to finish off the look, you're going to take your hair scarf. And bring that scarf right down to the base of the hair, so right underneath the ponytail, and then right up above where we tied off the bumper bang. And then before I tie off it into a bow, go ahead and take bobby pins. And on each side of the knot, I place those in. Kind of keeps it from budging. And then tie your bow. fluff up the bow ends. So that is it. That is our back to school bumper bang look. I hope you guys really enjoy this look. I think it's absolutely fun. And as we've discussed before, who doesn't like a ponytail? I love hearing from you guys. So go ahead in the comment section below, let me know what you thought of today's hair tutorial. And also, what is your favorite method of bumper bang execution? I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you're not quite ready to say goodbye to this face, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. And as well, if you're new, go ahead and click that subscribe button. It's completely free, and it will also let you know when we post new videos here. That way you don't miss a minute. I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you soon. Bye.